Hey Vinny, what's going on? Welcome to another Rant Time with Hal. Um, you, I'm actually doing this a bit differently. You're actually seeing me as I talk for once. You're not just seeing my um, channel icon. Like, the, the channel icon is just... I'm going to have that change eventually. I'm just going to replace that sword with a Monado and that, 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 Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about something that's been really plaguing my mind recently and something I just have to get off my chest. And that is primarily feminism and the societal double standards that we just tend to we need to just really, really fucking work hard at. Ugh. Seriously, just... All these double standards are just more so toxic to society than it is to help them out. It's like, you think something could go one way for one side and another way for another? Okay. Now, as, as stated in my um, Sante video, that um, those videos are going to be fun and hiatus because off and on my throat has been like, scratchy, but I just want to get this off my mind because this has been pissing me off. Like, like, for one thing, and let me just make this clear, there is no gender pay gap. Like, we're crying out loud. Like, all the fucking time, all, all the time, I'm just hearing feminists going, oh! Bullshit. You fail to take into account other variables. Then can you play no significance in this? Uh, except for the fact that women get pregnant, not men. That's the big thing here. Maternity leave. Women get pregnant, men don't. Women go into different lines of work. Like, men tend to take bigger risks. They do, they do more dangerous jobs. And this, they get paid more. Unless, of course, you're trying to push for the Soviet Union. In this case, that would destroy our economy even further. It's already fucking terrible as it is. Which, it's, it's complete bullshit. Uh, and to go even further, even further than that, there's a sentencing gap. Like, you, it's stupid. I wish that didn't exist, which people were penalized according to the crime. And not alone. Just the severity of the crime, and that's it. Of course, in the perfect world, that would be the case, but nope. No, 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 no. You see, the thing is, um, white women tend to get the, le the least harsh sentence. And it goes to white men getting harsher than that. Black, sorry, no, I'm, I'm getting this wrong, sorry. I actually have a sleep, so if, if I flip things, that's, that's why. <clears throat> it goes to white women, then black women, then white men, and black men get the harshest of the sentence. So it's more so boiled down to gender than it is about skin color, which is also insignificant, by the way. I'm sorry, if you're going to judge someone based on their fucking skin color and their genitalia, that makes you a bigot. And you don't get much more bigoted than saying, oh, it's a cis straight white male. Why the fuck should skin color and genitalia and your sexual orientation even matter? I mean, for God's sake. We can't, can't we just focus on fucking mental health? Can't we just focus on that? No. No, no, no. Feminists are obsessed with skin color and the genitalia of the person committing the crime. Because that's all that matters to them. Ugh. And speaking of stupid things, what is the most ridiculous accusation that you can make? Crimes are committed because people buy video games! Well, here's a fun fact for you. Violence has gone on way, way before video games even came into existence. It's been an ongoing historical thing. So that alone should just prove that any connection, that any bullshit connection, that any SJW, any feminist, any sort of media reporter or anything, news anchor, what the fuck ever, all of them. That should disprove their, the, the bullshit that they have tossed out. 
that video games have any direct kind of influence on crimes. Which is totally ridiculous. Like, Nina Sarkeesian, for example. Like, she claimed that video games, oh, video games are sexist, video games are misogynistic, such as DJ5. It, apparently that game is sexist because there's prostitutes in that game. I didn't know that. Uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, no, uh, and, and my secret really is sexist and I didn't even know it, despite the fact that I have played GTA. Uh, I didn't know it was a sexist just because I played the game, well, that's because the whole thing doesn't make any sense. Playing those games never made me sexist at all. It, it doesn't make you a sexist just because you play a game where you have to rescue a princess and you listen to Zelda that way. But, Princess Zelda, in the Legend of Zelda games, there's more story significance behind that. You know, like, the, Princess Zelda's always getting kidnapped for one reason or another. Like, a prime example of that would be Ganondorf capturing Zelda because of the Triforce of Risen. That's pretty much all Ganon cares about, is completing the Triforce. And, if you have to kidnap Zelda just to accomplish that, then... That's what he's going to do. He just cares about the Triforce at the end of the day. That's all he wants. That's all he cares about. So, to, that debunks Zelda from being a sexist. Even though I shouldn't have to disprove this. It should be clear as fucking day. So, Mario, I happen to think that Princess Peach intentionally gets kidnapped. Dang with Bowser. So, that theory could potentially disprove that. I go on and on and on about video game franchises that have the dam the devs on the stress troop. But it'd be but it be it take up multiple it it'd take up so much time there is so I can I can go on and on and on and on and on. And this also brings me to another thing that infuriates me about feminists. Is the fact that they'll silence dissent, they'll squash any opposing viewpoint, and just try to cut people off from making, like, think anything at all they don't agree with. Now that's what really pisses me off. That's actually, that kind of happened to me, but I won't go into details about that. But, when, when someone cuts you off, just for saying something that you don't agree with, it's, it's fucking stupid. It's bullshit. That's, so, that's another thing that these femina, feminazis, I have, to, I have to say feminazis, because let's call it fake, fake. It's not real feminists. They will label you a misogynist, a sexist, or if you're talking about the subject of rape, you're a rape apologist, you support rape culture, which doesn't fucking exist, by the way. We condemn any kind of rape at all, and... We, Anyone, we, one is a rapist, gets sent to prison. I mean, how? Then, and people in general get fired for making rape jokes. How is that a rape culture? Answer me this, fairness. Answer me this. Cause seriously. How is that a rape culture? That does not make any sense whatsoever. There is no rape culture in the rest. Get that through your fucking head. And being on topic of rape culture, you know what, there's one thing they love to just toss around like it's fucking nothing. <laughs> really? Even by your ridiculous definition, we do not live in a patriarchy, and you can clearly see it right there. <sighs> Uh, okay, I apologize like there's a lot of ton of yelling in this video, but I swear like, nothing has got me more inflamed than feminists. I mean, like, seriously though. In terms of like beings in power or anyone in power, you also have to accept the um, responsibility that comes with it. Cannot have your cake and eat it too. Like, why, why am I constantly doing this? Whatever, I don't care. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> on the last note I will end things on is, um, women being oppressed. You know you're actually oppressing other women by trying to force them into professions they don't want to be in in the first place. <clears throat> Such as, being a top engineer, for example. It's like pushing them into, say, video games when they don't have any interest in that. Okay. Here's the thing, though. Women do have the right to vote. They do have the right to run for office. They do have the right to serve in armed forces. Like, yeah, even their armed forces. Sure, they may not be eligible for the draft, but here's the thing. That's something I, I kind of discourage, because in a way, that's tossing them in the meat grinder, because if any kind of foreign threat comes up, up and we have to go to war, you can bet that men will be there to be, to be disposed of to help protect us. That's the men that are on the draft and are basically tossed in the grinder. Do you really want that for men? Really? Yeah, I don't think so. And let me just make this clear. Just because they can do something, that doesn't necessarily mean they will at the end of the day. It's their choice. If they want to do something, they will do it. If they want a top job, they will put in the effort that is required to meet the quota of someone getting that job. Like, if they want to have a, a job as an engineer, they need to be knowledgeable in automotive. That's the kind of thing. You need to be knowledgeable in that field. It's the same thing with being a nurse. It's the same thing with being a doctor. It's the same thing with pretty much any field under the sun, especially game development. You need to know how to code. Okay. Honestly, that felt really good getting that off my chest and just having the chance to talk about this on video. So, yeah. This, okay, that's all I had to say at the moment. If more bullshit from feminists comes up, you can bet I'm going to be talking about it. Even if it's not the appropriate time for a rent time with Klaus, I will indeed be talking about it and give my point of view and review at that point. <sighs> okay. So there's, been, so there's been another episode of Rent Time with Klaus. And if you like what you saw, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And if you like me to do future rant times with, like, I show my face and I talk to the camera, let me know in the comments, and I'll do that. Peace out.